Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thanks for tuning in for another very special episode of On the Avenue. We're going to have some fun this evening. We are halfway through our Wednesdays in the Word Revival. The first two weeks were such a blessing as we heard powerful messages from Dr. Clavin Lee Jr. and Dr. F. Bruce Williams. Tomorrow marks week three, and we will be hearing the Word of God from Pastor H.B. Charles, the senior pastor of the Shiloh Metropolitan Baptist Church in both Jacksonville and Orange Park, Florida. Tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. to worship with us virtually. Just two days after that, our social justice ministry will be hosting an awesome two-day event called Justice Rising, Faith Dismantling Injustice. You don't want to miss it. The keynote address will be given by none other than U.S. Senator Reverend Dr. Raphael Warnock, the first black U.S. Senator to represent the state of Georgia. As I mentioned last week, there will be panels with prominent politicians, community leaders, and activists on the topics of policing in Houston and how to stand against voter suppression. There will also be a breakout session focused on criminal justice reform, education reform, community resource development, legislative reform, and voter engagement. Invited speakers include U.S. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, Texas State Senator Boris Miles, NAACP Houston Chapter President Bishop James Dixon, former Houston County Clerk Chris Collins, and more. This conference offers something for the entire family. Once you register, you will be able to create your personal schedule for the weekend. Sign up today and we will see you on May 21st and 22nd. Also on the 22nd, the Financial Empowerment Ministry will be hosting Entrepreneurship 201, From Purpose to Profit. If you are on the verge of branching out and starting your own business, learning how to weather the cyclical nature of being a business owner, or just looking for new ideas to re-energize your existing business, you want to attend this event. Entrepreneurship 201 is virtual and will take place from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. During this interactive event, attendees will explore topics such as turning an idea into reality, creating a business plan, business finances and funding options, marketing your business, building a sales funnel, leveraging global platforms, and more. To register, visit the events page on our website or send an email to empowerment at wheelerbc.org for more information. Attention all WABC graduates. We are gearing up for our virtual graduation on the Avenue to honor and celebrate your accomplishments as a member of the graduating class of 2021 on Saturday, June 12th at 11 a.m. All graduates from kindergarten to doctoral candidates are invited to submit a video for inclusion in this year's special ceremony. All videos are due by Sunday, May 30th. For additional submission details and information, you can visit wheelerbc.org or contact Ms. Agnes Johnson at aejohnson at wheelerbc.org. Congratulations, class of 2021. Your church family is so proud of you. Speaking of graduation, the end of the school year is such a special time in a student's life because everyone is so excited about getting a break from classes and homework for a few months. When I was in school, we always had a party to celebrate the completion of another school year. This included relaxed dress code, pizza, arts and crafts, movies, and anything else that we could think of. Today, we're having our own celebration as we get ready for summer break. Since some students are still participating in virtual learning at home, we invited representatives from the children's ministry to demonstrate some of their favorite arts and crafts projects and recipes that parents and children can do at home. Mrs. Kim Washington, the director of the Children's Ministry, is also here to introduce us to our special guest. Take it away, Ms. Kim. Hi, 
We are so excited as the children's ministry to be here helping you plan for your summer. One of the most fun times of the year. And so when I was asked to find someone creative and talented in our children's ministry to show us some things to do in the summer, uh, that's easy, no problem at all, because we have a lot of creative and talented kids here in the Wheeler Avenue Children's Ministry. But what we want to do for this summer, I mean, I don't know if you're like me, you like to maybe um, hang out in the summer on the beach and kind of this summer, we may or may not be able to do that, <laughs> but we can do something at home to keep your children involved. And so we thought about, hey, why not a craft or something to eat? So I solicited some of those creative kids in our ministry to teach me how to do a craft and how to make something to eat because that's not my thing. And parents, I don't know if it's yours or not, but I have some talented parents that have shown their kids how to make some great things easy, quick steps, one, two, three. And today, joining me to make a great craft is Miss Peyton and her mom, April. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. What do you have for us today, Peyton? Because I heard that you like to make a lot of creative things, right? You like to do a lot of arts and crafts. What did you bring for us to do? Puffy paint ice cream. Puffy paint yes. ice cream. I'm so <laughs> curious. That sounds so interesting. Now, did you come up with this yourself, or did Mom go find this for you? Um, Mommy. That's right. Well, Mommy, you're very creative. <laughs> so who's going to teach us? Now, you have to take your time with Miss Kim because she's not really good at these things. And you have to go step by step and show me how to do this puffy paint ice cream. Okay? Well, that's easy, right? Because it's yeah. an easy one. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah, this easy. one is <laughs> super easy. This right. one is really fun, really neat, very colorful for the summer. But it's also really easy. So parents, kids, anybody can get involved in it. And it doesn't matter the age right awesome. so we want to start with what our ingredients for the puffy paint are so what do we have glue mm-hmm and shaving cream that's right and what's our last thing food coloring that's right so um, you're going to mix equal parts shaving cream to glue all right so you want to go ahead and put the shaving cream in there you want to help mommy put the shaving cream in there there we go. Now that's fun. Yeah, and that, exactly. You might have to shake it up a little bit. Okay. And that's kind of fun for the kiddos. So once you've got the shaving cream in there mixed with the glue, okay. then you want to add your food coloring. Okay. You want to do the food coloring? Any color I or you want. want to put a, any color you want. You okay. want to put a little more in yours? Good job. That's good, sissy. All right. All that's right. the fun part. That I is the fun part. I know. Just want, that's what she wants to do, too. So you want to go ahead and put your food coloring in there? Three drops. Three drops. Okay, Peyton, three drops. I get a little fun with it, and I put a little bit more. That's okay, okay though. Right. It might make a little bit of a mess, but yeah. that's okay. It's all, you can clean it all up. That's oh, the that's fun part great. about this. It's all washable. That's right. So once you've got it in there, just mix it all together, and it's going to look really puffy like puffy oh, paint. This is cool. So it's really neat because it turns out to be really puffy. Peyton said it looks like icing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> icing or cotton candy. So I made a pink one. And I made a blue one. And Peyton made a blue one. Okay, I think mine is pink-ish. All righty. Or red. So like red. the whole idea of this craft project is going to look like ice cream. So we've okay. got our cups that we cut. We just took regular okay. paper cups. Okay. And you can get plain ones and put stickers on them or glitter, however you want to decorate them. But these and are just, really cute. These are really cute. Yeah. And it says sunshine on my mind. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. So you want to glue those down okay. to, your, to your poster board. So the glue that you have, you can just kind of take it and run it along the edges and glue it down because it's almost like it's the ice cream coming out of. It's not gluing. I like that I'm not like getting really messy. And you won't it's get really fun, messy. Exactly. Not, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Peyton, what's your favorite part of summer? Well, my favorite part of summer is um, playing and going to I'm the pool. Here. Going to I'm the pool. Here. That is really, really fun. And we can do eat you ice, take cream ice cream at the pool. Ice cream to the yes. pool. Yes. How are you? What else awesome. do you like besides ice cream? What other cold snow treat cones. do you like? That's snow right, popsicles. snow and popsicles. Oh, All right, man. so awesome. once you've got it mixed up, and you can do as many colors as you want, right? Okay. All you do is, like I said, equal parts glue, equal parts shaving cream, 
and then your food coloring. Okay. Super We're easy. Set. Like, okay. I love it because it's also a really inexpensive craft. And coloring. So right. now that you've got that all mixed, then you want to mm -hmm. go ahead and start painting. So you just take a spoonful of it. Okay. And you put it down on your poster board like it's ice cream coming out of the cup. you to make the orange, though. Now, oh, okay. can I stick my fingers in this? And you can stick too? your fingers in it. You okay. can use a spoon. You can use the popsicle sticks. Whatever you want to use. Oh, yeah. It's like making a scoop of ice cream. That's right. It's like making a scoop of ice cream. That's it's really awesome. neat. The kids love it. Starting with the shaving cream, the kids love that part. <laughs> yes. And it dries really easy, too. And you can use all the colors you want and make as many scoops as you want. As many right? scoops as you want. This if your is favorite cool. ice cream can I, is. Can I get a scoop? Yep. Put okay. your scoop on there. Oh, you want some pink? Oh, Let's switch. Nice. I want blue. Perfect. The other thing that we like to do with this, once we get done, we really make it like ice cream. So we put some sprinkles on it, yeah. we put a straw in it, and make it really decorative and creative. And with your poster board, you can put whatever you want on it. So oh, if you want to okay. put some decorations on your poster board, see, that's where the kids get excited that's too. That's fun. That's the best part is <laughs> squirting this um, that's shaving right. cream. <laughs> and you guys brought us an example of what it looks like that's when you're right. all finished, right? We're all finished. So finished product here. That's good, Peyton. Just going to pull it out. You and how long does there. it take to finally look like this? So we just let it dry a couple of hours, and it oh. looks beautiful like that. And oh, the kids like to touch it because it's really puffy. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Oh, it is. See? Oh, that's great. <laughs> and so you finish it, you put stickers, and you put little treats on top. Put little treats on it, nice. and you make it like real ice cream. So it's really neat. Aww. And it's really easy. And like I said, I love it because it's inexpensive. And you have to do lots of crafts and activities in the summer with the kids. Yes. And yes. I love it because it's really easy, <laughs> I mean, and I right. can do it with the kids, right? That's so right. thank you, Peyton and Miss April, for Please sharing you. with us your puffy welcome. ice cream. You're welcome. It is absolutely awesome. And so instructions will be included for you guys to look at the bottom of the screen and figure out how to do it yourself, OK? OK. All right. Perfect. Enjoy your summer, Peyton. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Now, one of my favorite things to do, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, is eat good food. And there's someone here who knows how to prepare something that's going to be really quick and easy and also taste good. And his name is Noah. And Noah came along with his mom, Miss Felicia. And he's going to teach us how to make his favorite thing to eat, which is what, Noah? Pizza. Pizza. Awesome. So you're going to teach us how to make what kind of pizza? Like uh, vegetable homemade. pizza or? Mm, homemade pizza. Homemade pizza. OK, OK. Now, Noah, I do like to eat, but I might not necessarily really be good at cooking. So can you walk me through the steps of making this homemade pizza? Yes. All right, let's do it. What's first? First, you get the olive oil. Olive oil, okay. And then pour a little on the um, pizza. All right. Then you um, put um, um, scrub it all over. Does it have to cover the whole thing? I mean, if you want, if okay. you could, it it could just cover the middle, or oh. it could cover all the sides too. Okay, all the sides too. All right. But make sure you don't put too much. Okay, I will not put too much. I covered all the sides. I think I'm good. Okay, what's next? And then you put the sauce on. Sauce. I love sauce. That's my favorite part. No, 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 no. It's not my favorite part. I think the cheese might be my favorite part. I can't do the cheese yet though, right? We're doing sauce. Mommy just like cheese. Oh, really? So your mom doesn't put sauce on her? She just puts cheese? No, no. You always put sauce on yours. Oh, OK. I'm okay. just saying she just like the, she just likes cheese on hers. That's it. No other ingredients. Really? Yeah. OK. Well. But she does sometimes like meat on her thing, too. I like meat on my pizza. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this sauce so we can add the good stuff, OK? And you usually just put just Two spoons of sauce okay. on the um, on the um, pizza. All right, I think I did that right. Okay. All righty. 
All right, I covered my pizza. Okay, tell her what's next. What am I gonna do then next? Then you can put your meat. This meat. is the part mommy likes. <laughs> Everybody likes. I do you like mommy. meat too, Noah? Yeah. Yeah, I sprinkle it everywhere. Okay, what's your favorite meat to put on pizza? Just tell me. Um, it doesn't have to be here, but what's your favorite? Uh, like beef meat. Beef meat, okay. Uh, favorite, wait, favorite. this meat. Okay, like sausage, and what about uh, uh, a birdie told me? Um, pepperoni. Pepperoni, okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, uh, I put my little sausage say, I mean, on. Okay. Miss Felicia, is this sausage, right? Isn't that what I do? Yes, you okay. can just sprinkle it around. And we are using ground turkey. Ground turkey, okay. So you can use yeah, that like and mix it. Yeah, ground turkey then. Ground turkey. <laughs> and then if you'd like to add vegetables to make it healthy and colorful. I do. You can add your bell peppers. Okay. Nice. I'm going to add red because red is one of my favorite colors. Yes. Me too. Yeah. Red's a good color, and you are wearing red. I must say, you look very nice today, Noah. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red and black. I have two favorite colors, yeah, red and black. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so we kind of match. I like red and black. Yes, absolutely. I, I kind of like red and black because it's my favorite um, Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man to the Spider-Man. Gotcha. Okay, Spider-Man. I didn't think about that. So I added, I added these bell peppers, yes. right? Yes. Okay, yeah. it's nice and colorful. And mommy likes to put um, mushrooms on her, but uh -huh. I don't really like mushrooms. Yeah, I don't either, Noah. We have a lot in common. <laughs> we like red, we don't like mushrooms, we like uh, pepperoni. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I we'll still let mom play with us though, right? We can all Dude. agree on this one. Okay, cheese. We all like cheese? Is that what I just heard? Yes. I agree. Me too. All pizza have cheese. What's a pizza without cheese? Okay. Mm. Um, meat this looks and so pepperoni good. cheese. I mean, pizza. Okay. So. Okay. This looks absolutely great. And I can already tell when it's done, it's going to taste so good. I know, I feel right? really proud of myself because, you know, I mean, I can cook, but I might not be the best cook. But this is looking pretty nice, if I must say so. Mm, it looks yes. really good. Okay. And my favorite ingredient to put on it is pepperoni. It's pepperoni. But we don't have pepperoni today. But that's okay. Yeah. We can pretend that we have pepperoni. And let's just put it on our pizza. Mmm, that's gonna taste so good. It's full of pepperoni. All right, anything Mommy else? Mommy yes. is not like okay. into pepperoni that much. Well, that's okay because you and I are here. <laughs> okay, what's left? So this is our special ingredient. Every pizza has to be covered with sprinkles of basil. Oh. So this makes your pizza very special and tastes really homemade. So why don't you sprinkle the basil? Once I put too much basil in, then I couldn't really taste that much pizza. Oh, my goodness. So don't remember not to put too much basil in the same spot. No problem. I do like it. I like that it makes it look kind of pretty though, right? Yeah, okay. it does. And right. you can sprinkle some garlic salt just around the crust. Okay. Only on the crust. Okay. Just around the crust. I'm going to put some All right. Just a little All right. bit around the crust. Okay. Put some okay. potatoes on Tomatoes? Mine. Yeah, I'm going right. to put some tomatoes on mine. And then your toppers can be tomatoes or spinach. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put pretend like that I eat healthy five. all the time and have some spinach. The more Let's color, see. the healthier. Yes, <laughs> look at all this color on my plate. Yes, this is great. Color, color, healthy pizza. Can I add some cheese? Yes, you can add another layer of cheese if you'd like another you, dusting. Cheese is healthy too, right? Do you too, know right? when we always eat pizza? Well, is this it, Miss Felicia? Is this it, Noah? Yeah. Let's see what it looks like when it comes out hey. of the Wheeler Avenue oven. Oh, let's see. It's going to look like this. Here's our finished product. Yummy. I must say, <laughs> I am so excited to eat Noah's specialty pizza. <laughs> and you can you put know. all different flavors on. I can put all different flavors on it? Yeah. I'm going to try Whatever that. I can't wait to try that. That is awesome. This is even something that Miss Kim can cook at home. It was nice and easy and fast. 
Thank you very, very much for being here and showing me how to cook pizza. You're welcome. <laughs> We are really blessed here on the Avenue, just like I told you. We have creative kids and creative parents, and we just want to say thank you to Miss Peyton and her mom, April, and thank you to Noah and his mom, Felicia. This has been phenomenal. You guys have given me ideas for this summer that I am so excited to do. And you know what, parents? If you want to do the same thing, you need a list of crafts, a list of ideas for things to do with your children that won't take forever and all day, go to www.wheelerbc.org slash summer. We've got tons of ideas for you right there. See you soon. That was awesome. Thank you, Peyton and your mom, Miss April, as well as Noah and your mom, Miss Felicia, for sharing your arts and crafts and recipes with us. We hope you enjoyed our party. We want you to keep the party going though. So the Children's Ministry has organized a list of activities that you all can do during the summer break. For that full list of activities, visit wheelerbc.org slash summer. If you'd like to share your creations, take some pictures of the fun and post them to social media with the hashtag that we've been using during this entire season of being apart. Hashtag stay connected WABC. Although the official summer season begins in a few weeks, we hope that you all have a fantastic summer break. To all the graduates, congratulations again. And thank you to every parent, teacher, and staff member who contributes to the learning of our students and the daily operations of our schools on all levels. You are appreciated. That's all for tonight. We're looking forward to being back together again physically in the near future. Until then, you're still on the avenue. <laughs>